Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is Penguin Tech. Today I'm going to bring you a short review on this cube case. This is the Techware Quad Cube here, which as you can see is a cube shaped case with both sides transparent panel as well as the top. So you can see your inner parts everything from the left side right side and even the top side which is the unique part of this case so here is the power switch and speaker in mic in two usb 2.0 and actually a usb 3.0 here but it's damaged already so it's removed and a huge reset button here all of which are very clicky i like it now i'm not sure what this is so i just ignore it and because this case I bought it from used market so uh, it's a bit old now but it's okay as you can see all the acrylics are a little bit scratched but it will just work fine we are greeted with the front mesh panel here with a logo down below and we have a 20 cm fan inside of it which we will take a look later on it is LED we can now look at the side panel here as you can see we have a lot of these thumb screws around but however this is not the kind of the thumb screw that sticks to the panel itself so all of which are this so I guess coming from a budget mindset which this is less than 200 ringgit if you buy it new and I don't think there's a lot in the market right now I guess it's acceptable so uh, you have to keep these screws well we can take this panel off here so as you can see we have a 12 cn exhaust fan here this that comes with it and we have four pcie brackets here um where we have a cover here you need to take off if you want to take off your brackets here but i don't have the brackets now because it's gone already from the previous user let's take a look on the other side as well So here we have another acrylic panel here, we can take off this panel as well. So as you can see we have another two 120mm fan bracket here which you can take off actually so that you can ease your fan mounting progress or you can install a 240mm radiator here depending on your clearance and uh, this is basic this side panel is basically open to let you access your PSU down here and your fans here now the top the front panel can also be taken off so we'll take that off in a second you don't need a huge force to take this out so uh, taking a look from the front cover inside you can see there's a mesh inside here which you can take it out to clean off again and we have another layer of mesh here dust filter is actually clipped in place by these clips here and you can actually remove the front mesh here by re removing all of these screws and now we go into the fan so as you can see this is a 20 cm millimeters fan and it's not a good fan honestly because it's quite the blade doesn't curve in a lot so I'm not sure how much air it can draw and I'm not really sure how fast it spins and as you can see there's a lot of wobble here which indicates this is not exactly a good fan but if you want to remove this fan you can also remove these four screws here which are long ones and you can install two 120mm fan side by side like here and here the top panel can also re be removed so to allow uh, easy installation of your parts so all of which are kept in, kept in place with clips you just need to push it upwards to gain access from the top there we go everything is removed here the acrylic panel in this case is kept in by sc screws all over there is a total of 8 screws two from each side now you can access from the top here to allow easy installation of your motherboard and everything so 
all of the wires are in. You can, as you can see, two USB header here. The power switch, HD LED, reset switch button, connector, everything. This is the fan connector that lets you connect to a 3 pin or use the Molex here. And here is the fan for the, the pin, 3 pin, and Molex for the exhaust fan. White in color. And so that's about it. I think the case is basically in bare bone now. So I would say the case is actually pretty sturdy for this price, which is good. So if you want to remove this fan bracket, you have to take out these screws here, two from here and two from here. So I think it will be hard if the exhaust fan is still installed here but it's possible but if your red is too thick then maybe you might need to remove your exhaust fan first before you want to mount your radiator from this side and so we can go to the back again and as you can see three more thumb screws here um, you can remove them this is the PSU bracket here which is I like this kind of design because you can actually mount this bracket on the back of your PSU and then salt it in perfectly. So it's kept in by three screws with the standard four screws hole to with the standard four screws hole to fix in your PSU here. And we have another screw, two screws here. This is actually where you keep your uh, 2.5 inch drives or your SSD. So you can support up to two of them in this bracket. And for hard disk, there's actually two tooless HDD bracket here, but I don't have it with me now. But it's installed here, then there's like, you can support up to two 3.5 inch here. Now we can go to the back again. You see that it's, plan it's empty here, but uh, there's two fits here which are secured in by these two silver screws here and here and there's another two on the other side so basically there's no holes here except for the holes that lets you that sort of PSU to draw in fans and uh, there's actually a magnetic filter here which is kept in place by this filter I want to mention that this supports only up to MITX size, so ATX motherboards would not fit. This will also fit in the ITX size. And you can see here, here are the um, motherboard standoffs here, which are not installed. But I have it, which is in gold color. And you can see these holes here for you, for you to uh, do your cable management everywhere. And yeah, I think this case isn't that bad for a budget build except for the fan I wish the quality will be better because it's really cheap so as you can see this cube case is not uh, separated into two chambers by a vertical separator I guess but it's actually have a separator that lies horizontally to separate it from top and bottom where your PSU goes underneath your motherboard actually flat and uh, yeah which is uh, actually quite an interesting design so I think one of the reasons they designed so is so that your view from all of these three sides of acrylic panel you can see your motherboard clearly and so that your RGB LEDs shines through perfectly so the PSU you can support is 160mm and the maximum CPU cooler height if you use a heatsink kind air cooler it's actually 180 millimeters and for the max GPU length is 300 millimeters I think this is a good case I'm not sure if it's so friendly but I don't think so there could be there there are cases that are much easier to build in I, I guess and uh, given that it's budget there's no rubber grommets in all of the cutouts here but uh, and, and I think this one, this hole could have been bigger, but in terms of sturdiness, this is actually not that bad at all. That is all from me today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share my videos because I'll be using this case to build a budget video rendering PC. So stay tuned. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!